Let's look at how we can connect GroovePacker and Shipworks to import orders. The first thing that we'll do is click on Create a Store. We'll give the store a name and select Shipworks from the store type. These order statuses here correspond to the local order statuses in Shipworks. These switches allow you to only import orders with specific statuses from Shipworks. For example, if all your orders come in and they're marked as new orders in Shipworks, and then after you've processed them and you're ready to ship them through GroovePacker, you change them to not shipped, you can turn just this order status on. And regardless of other settings in Shipworks, only orders that are not shipped would be able to come into GroovePacker. If you're going to be using a method where you select the orders and use a button to send them to GroovePacker, then you can go ahead and select all of these, turn them on. The only other item you'll need to do in GroovePacker is to copy this authorization URL. You can use Control C to copy it to your clipboard, and in a minute we'll paste it into Shipworks. GroovePacker receives orders that are sent using the Shipworks actions, so it ends up being a really flexible system because there's so many different options for the actions in Shipworks. So the first thing we need to do is create a new action, and we'll give it a name. And the top part, if you're familiar with Shipworks actions, you know how this works. Uh, basically, this is going to be the trigger that sends it. Uh, for this demo, we'll use a custom button as clicked, and we'll choose a little barcode for our icon. Depending on what you have selected here, uh, the orders in the orders list will either need to be selected or not need to be selected in order to get sent. I usually leave this as selected because that gives a lot of control. And then we'll create a task which is actually going to send the files or send the orders to GroovePacker. This won't change um, even if you decide to change and use a different trigger to send the orders. So under external, we'll select send web request and under send the request choose the second option and under template scroll to the bottom and grab XML source. The last thing I'll need to do is paste in your URL with control V and hit OK. We can close this and we'll select some of our orders that we want to send to GroovePacker and in our home tab we should find our custom GroovePacker button so we'll click that, and we should see the orders begin to import into GroovePacker. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.